Here I want to show you how you can update a task that's in progress as well as marking it complete when you finish the task. For example, like cleaning the fridge, double click on it to open it up. You can see the status is not started. You can also click on the drop down arrow and say it's in progress. However, you don't have anything that's keeping track of it, like with the percent complete. So if you want to do it that way, well, you can leave it in progress, but notice that if I go back to not started and I come over here and use the spin dials, it does it in 25% increments as well as updating the status field to in progress. So if I go back to not started and I don't want to do it by 25%, like maybe 1%, hit the tab key, you can see the status is now in progress. You can also click on the drop down arrow and say it's completed. And when you do that, it marks it at 100%, and, or you can say not started and mark it to 100% here, and it's completed. And you'll notice up here in the manage task group, that the mark complete is no longer available because, well, it shows down here it's complete. So you can do it up there if you say not started instead of clicking on the drop down arrow to choose it or typing in 100% to show that it's mark complete. Just click on mark complete, saves and closes out of it, then back in the task folder, not the to do list, but the task folder. You can see that it's checked here because the difference between the task and the to do list is in the task folder. You get a checkbox to mark it complete, which is another way you can mark your task complete and it marks it at 100% and in this view also puts a line through it. And what's nice about this view is that it'll stay here forever. That's to let you know that you actually accomplished something, but if you need a quick reference to come back and say, what did I accomplish? Or maybe I actually didn't. And there's a few things that I need to work on before it's actually completed, so it really wasn't. In any case, if you change your mind, you can always uncheck it and, or say, well, my mistake, let me go ahead and check it and it marks it complete as well. And you can see that when I uncheck it up here in the Manage Task Group, you can mark it complete with it selected. And like I said, it always stays in this folder until you either delete it or you can remove it from the list, in which case it goes to the garbage can. So to retrieve it, you can come up here and hit the undo if it was the most recent action. Or you can come over here and go to the Mail folder in the, well, let me get off of it. There it is. In the Deleted Items folder here, it's selected, so it's Clean Fridge. Just click and drag that back to the Task folder. Let go. Go back to the Task folder, and there it is. So you can see the difference again between the To-Do List and, well, when it's Mark Complete, it's not going to be in the To-Do List. So if I go back to the Task and uncheck it, and it's now in progress or it hasn't begun, and I go back to the To-Do List, you can see that it's there as well. And you can also come over here and right-click on the flag and also mark it complete. Phew, there's just so many ways to do this. In any case, it removes it from your to-do list, which is a combination of every task that you created that hasn't been marked complete and any other Outlook item that you flagged, as opposed to, well, let me just focus on the tasks and not everything else that I have to do to go over the items in the task folder here. And of course, you can see over here that the flag has been checked. So as far as the to-do go, if it's been flagged, it goes to the to-do list. If it's been checked, it's no longer there. But since it's a task, it belongs in the task folder again until you delete it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.